let's have a look at the course objectives and what I hope you're going to get out of it. We're going to start off by looking at domain registrars and tied in with that web hosting. Now, most web hosts like you to choose them as the registrar and that's the way most people do it. It's the easiest way, it's the most convenient way perhaps. But I want to recommend that you use a separate registrar and web host. And I'll explain why and I'll even show you how to do it. I'll recommend a host and a registrar if you're looking for one and I'll show you how to hook them up together so they work together so you can install your domain on the web host but keep it safely in the hands of a separate registrar. If you've already got web hosting and you've chosen to use them as your registrar for a domain that you currently own, then I would suggest you move that domain to a third party registrar and I'll show you how to do that. We'll then go on to look at installation of WordPress and that's the main part of this course. And we'll look at two automatic ways to install WordPress that most web hosts have, at least one or other. These are called Quick Install and Softaculous. And I'll explain to you why Softaculous is the better option if it's available to you. Some web hosts don't have any automatic install for WordPress, although they are few and far between now. And in that case, you might have to manually install WordPress using FTP. But don't worry, I'll show you how to do that as well. Once WordPress is installed, I'll show you how to find and install free WordPress themes. And I'll also show you how to install premium themes in case you buy them. Because when you buy a theme, you'll download it to your own computer. And with free themes, you don't have to download anything to your computer. And the same goes with plugins. I'll give you a list of recommended plugins that I think you should check out. And these are all free. And I'll show you how to find them and install them. I'll also show you how to install premium plugins again in case you buy them because again if you buy them you download the plugin to your own computer and that's not the way you handle things with the free plugins. Finally we'll have a look at getting started with WordPress and we'll create a post and we'll create a page and we'll clean WordPress up a little bit and by the end of that you should be quite happy at starting and working on your own website. But for those people who don't want to invest in a domain and web hosting and would rather try a free option I've got one final tutorial where I'll show you how to set up a 100% free WordPress site. Now this type of site will have limitations as you can imagine it's free but if you can live with the disadvantages and the limitations then well it's free so I'll show you how to set that up. So by the end of this course what I'm hoping you'll get is enough information to feel comfortable and happy to go away and install WordPress on any host of your choice using a third-party registrar. So let's get on with it.